So welcome to the first video uh, tutorial in the Roland JDXI series. Is it going to be the most exciting video? No, but you can skip it. Uh, but in this video, we're going to have a look at connecting it up to a Windows 10 computer, uh, backing up all the data, the sounds and the patterns we've got on here, factory resetting it, restoring the data and getting it up to the most recent uh, firmware version, which as of January 2021 was version 1.51 so that we get the most functionality out of the unit. I'm gonna keep these videos short and sweet so that you can cherry pick the information you need by using the uh, contents uh, of the video across the bottom and in the description. So let's go. So if you wanna connect the JDXI up to a Windows 10 computer or laptop, what it says when you're downloading the drivers from the Roland website, which I'll put a link to in the video description below, is that you need to select the vendor as the uh, for the driver option in the menu. So if we go to menu on the JDXI and then keep it on system and press enter, if we scroll all the way across till we get to uh, USB driver. So generic apparently is if it pulls down the generic Windows 10 driver. I guess that's for the power and audio interface over USB. Uh, but Roland recommends that you have it on vendor. So we'll put it on vendor, press enter, and then come out of the menu. And that's job done. Okay, so for the drivers, I've gone to the Roland uh, web page for the JDXA, JDXI driver download. And as you can see, it just tells you that the computer will automatically download the driver. However, there is a file to download. So let's go ahead and download that. And then when you do open it up, let's just extract it. You can see there's no actual setup or drivers. You've just got readme uh, files. So if we open up one of the readme files, again, it just states that the computer will automatically download the drivers for the JDXI. However, if you've got any sound issues when using the JDXI in a door uh, or the audio interface over USB, then if you have a read through this uh, text file, there are some useful troubleshooting uh, tips. So let's just go back to uh, our desktop. Now what I'm going to do before I plug the JDXI in is bring up the device manager on Windows 10. So if you go to your search at the bottom and just type in devmgmt.msc or just watch for the device manager icon to appear. If you click on that uh, this is basically all the hardware we've got on this computer. So you can see that I've got the ProFX Mackie mixer there. Uh, you can hear me through the microphone on that. It's also here as a USB audio device. And is it down in the uh, sound video and games controllers? Yes, it is. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is you may already know, but there's people out there that you know, they're getting into music, they've just bought a synthesizer and they've just bought a shiny new laptop or a computer. And we need to go through this so that, you know, everybody can learn how to do it the right way. The reason I have the device manager open is because once you plug the JDXI in and it starts pulling down the drivers, you'll see that the uh, JDXI will appear here as um, an audio input and an output. And I believe it might appear here as a sound video and games controller device. So if I go ahead and plug in the JDXI into the USB port, the JDXI is still powered on. There we go, you can see it's setting up the JDXI device and shortly it should appear as an audio input and output. So let's just give that a second. So the setup is ready to go. And after a couple of refreshes, there we go. We've got the JDXI audio in, we've got the JDXI audio out. It doesn't appear as a USB audio device, but it should appear, oh, it should appear here uh, in the sound video and games controllers just there. And I think that is job done. 
So now that we've got the JDXI connected to a Windows 10 laptop, we're going to back up all the data we've got on the synthesizer so that the, then we can do a factory reset and get this up to the most recent firmware. So if you press menu and then scroll across to utility, which it's already there, uh, enter that. And then obviously we want to back up, so press enter and then it should bring up a folder on your uh, computer which it has done so in the manual it says to copy this entire folder so copy and then we're just going to paste it for convenience onto the desktop obviously don't cut or delete this because you'll delete or well, i think you'll delete the files from your synthesizer but seeing that the next step we're going to do is a factory reset it doesn't really matter but just 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 keep that there just in case so now it says just to eject your usb uh, device from the jdx site and that should now be done and there we go it goes back to the menu screen okay so now we're going to go for a factory reset once we're happy that we've backed up all our data so again we just go to menu utility press enter and then cursor across to factory reset enter that are you sure yes we are and obviously it will execute the factory reset and then once it's complete just turn off the power give it a couple of seconds as always and then just turn the power back on now to see what version uh, we still have on the system if you go to menu and then is it system let's have a look or is it no it's version info so scroll across to version info press enter and then we're still on version 1.51 so it doesn't actually get rid of the firmware it just factory resets all the other data that you've got on this synthesizer so if we did want to um, restore the data from our windows 10 backup if we just uh, come out of that and cursor across to utility and then instead of backup we just want to go to restore press enter again it will bring up the folder on windows 10 and obviously it's empty because what did we do we just factory reset it so on your desktop the whole jdxi folder stick it in there and as you can see it's copying let's just check the jdxi There we go, it's working away. Okay, so once that's completed, which I had down at just over two minutes, we'll turn the power off and give it a couple of seconds. Turn the power back on. And then this pattern here, F01, is where I've set the JDXI to um, load up to so let's just see if one of my patterns is yeah thank god for that I've still got all my uh, data so that was a success so now what we'll do is we'll update the JDXI to the most recent firmware so for now we'll switch the unit off and go and get the firmware update off the Roland website so on the Roland uh, website, I've gone and got the uh, version 1.51 uh, page, which I'll put a link down in this description. So let's download the firmware. And then once that's done, I'm just going to open up the folder and just extract it here. OK. And then if I go into that folder, and then go into that folder we've got a jdx jdxi update dot bin so when we power back up the jdxi if we hold down the tap button it's in update mode so it should bring up a folder on the windows 10 there we go so it says on the jdxi that it's waiting for the file so let's just move this across here now it says to copy the whole uh, jdxi update.bin file into your jdxi folder and then once that's done again just dismount the jdxi so we just go here and eject 
and then it's updating. So once it's finished, just turn off the power to the JDXI, wait the uh, obligatory couple of seconds, turn it back on. And then if we want to check, we just go to menu, uh, scroll across to version info, press enter. And there we go. We've got version 1.51. And for the functionality of this firmware update, I'll again put a link in the description.